Hello everyone, this is Wes James, and I'm bringing you another awesome Final Cut Pro effect. In today's tutorial, we're going to be putting her in her case. What I mean by that is we're going to take some footage, place a CD on top of it, animate a CD case moving into place, and close it shut with the front cover. Here's what the final result looks like. Before I proceed with the tutorial, I would like to shout out to a website that's been featuring my tutorials on their website for the world to see. Their name? FCP.co, and their aim is to be the number one resource for all things Final Cut Studio, and with your help, they can accomplish that goal. So if you have some free time and want to read up on the latest and greatest in the FCP world, check them out. Also, I would like to thank iDestro Revolution for creating the free 3D plugin multispace that will aid us in completing our animation. Let's begin with the tutorial. I'm here in Final Cut Pro and I already have some footage in my timeline. It's a female model posing by the wall. This clip is SD but like I always say this effect can be done in HD as well. I've placed the marker where I want to perform my freeze frame, so let's go to it. I'm going to hit the keyboard shortcut, shift N to create a freeze frame, and a freeze frame will appear in the viewer. Let's change the duration from 2 seconds to 4 seconds. Let's drag the freeze frame onto track 4. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shorten the duration of the model footage. So if you select the out point and move the playhead to where the marker is at, hit the E key to perform an extend edit and it shortens the duration so that it ends right when the freeze frame begins. Next, let's select the freeze frame and duplicate it. Hold down Option Shift to create a duplicate and drag it onto track 2. So now we have freeze frames on tracks 2 and 4. Next, we need a DVD slash CD image. You could find one doing a Google search or download the zip file which I provided, which has the DVD disk image in a PSD format and a CD black plastic image as well. If you've downloaded the zip file, import it into your project browser. Go to your project browser, double click the DVD disk PSD, and we have an image of a DVD disk now, it does not look as circular as it should be, as Photoshop did not properly scale it correctly, so we're going to have to fix that here in Final Cut Pro. So if you need to close the sequence, hit the keyboard shortcut, Control w Let's drag the DVD disk image onto track 2. Let's change the duration by moving the playhead to the out point of the freeze frames, selecting the out point, and hitting the E key. Alright, so we have freeze frames in tracks 2 and 4, and we have the DVD disc image on track 3, but we can't exactly see the DVD disc image, so we're going to have to solo the freeze frame on track 2 and the DVD disc image on track 3. So if you select them, hold down the command key, hit the keyboard shortcut control S to solo, and there you go. And now we're now able to see the DVD disc PSD and also the freeze frame on track 2. So we need to change the overall look of the DVD disk image, but we need to do that in the Motion tab. So if you Option double click the DVD disk image to bring it into the viewer, go to the Motion tab, and let's change a few parameters. Let's change the scale from 96.19 to 107. Let's change the center on the X position to 18. Scroll down to the Distort menu. Let's change the Aspect Ratio to negative 13. Now the disc looks more circular the way it's supposed to look and all the much better for us. So the next thing we need to do is we need to change the composite mode. So if you right click, scroll down to composite mode, change it from normal to overlay. Now the CD looks like it's blending in with the footage, which is what we want. The next thing we need to do is we need to mask out our footage so it matches the shape of the CD. So if, in order to do that, Let's go to our effects browser, let's go to video filters, scroll down to matte, and select mask shape, and apply it to our freeze frame on track 2. Double click to bring it into the viewer, go to the filters tab, and let's change a few parameters here. Let's change the shape from rectangle to oval. 
the horizontal scale from 50 to 72.9 and the vertical scale to 96. We're going to duplicate this mesh shape filter so if you right click and copy hit command V to paste let's change a few parameters here let's change the horizontal scale from 72.9 to 9 let's change the vertical scale to 12 let's change the center to 4 and click on the invert checkbox to allow it to mask from within so now it looks like the footage has taken on the shape of the CD but it seems a bit off center we're gonna fix that in a few seconds so the next thing you need to do is go to your project browser if you download the zip file I provide the CD back black plastic JPEG image so if you double click to bring it to the viewer I've already set it for four seconds but if it's a different duration for you guys just make sure you change the duration from what it is that you have to four seconds and drag it onto track one and there you go so we need to move the footage so it matches up with our black plastic image so if you double click to bring it into the viewer go to the motion tab and let's change the center parameter on the X position from 0 to 18 now everything's perfectly in center, the DVD disc image as well as the freeze frame on track 2. So the next thing we need to do is we need to re-enable the freeze frame on track 4. So if you select it, hit the keyboard shortcut, control B to re-enable it. There you go. Now it's changed everything so we can't actually see our black plastic or our freeze frame or even our DVD, but we're going to shorten the length of this so that it performs a reveal of the footage turning into a CD so in order to shorten the length let's go to the out point and drag to the left till it's about 13 frames alright so we've shortened our freeze frame on track 4 from its original duration of 4 seconds to 13 frames so we're gonna add a clock wipe so the footage is revealing into a CD so if you go to your effects browser go to video transitions scroll down to wipe and apply a clock wipe to the out point of the track 4 freeze frame double click the transition to bring it to the transition editor let's change the duration from 12 frames to 13 frames so it takes up the entire footage and let's change the center from on the X from 0 to 20 and enable feather edges by clicking on the box and if you use your right arrow key you can see it morphing into CD. Hit the up arrow to go back to the endpoint. Let's add some keyframes for our black plastic. So if you double click it to bring it to the viewer, go to the motion tab, move one frame from the endpoint. Let's add some keyframes for the center position. So let's add a keyframe here. Type in plus 13 to move the playhead and add a keyframe there. Hit option K to go back to the first keyframe and change the Y position on the center parameter from 0 to 500. So if we arrow over for right arrow, we could see the black plastic moving into place as it's done revealing. And there you go. The next thing we need is we need the CD cover. So if you go to your project browser, I have a CD cover of Fantasia Brino that I used from a previous project. I'll be using it for this example as well. Although this female model is not Fantasia Brino, the CD image is just to help illustrate the point of my animation. So make sure the duration is four seconds and drag it onto track five. There you go, it's at the end point. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna to need to do is I'm gonna to need to change a few parameters here. So I'm gonna to need to adjust the scale position and the distort to parameters that fit my black plastic case. So if I double click, go to the motion tab, now I'm going to make these values according to what my image needs to be for it to match up with the black plastic, but they're going to be different for you guys if you find ones online. So allow me to do that for just a second. All right, so I've changed its aspect ratio, the center position and the X position, and the scale to match up with my CD black plastic. So the next thing we need to do is we need to nest this CD cover. So if you hit the keyboard shortcut option C, rename the nested sequence CD cover and hit OK. So the next thing we need is we need our multi-space plugin to help with this animation. So if you go to your effects browser, scroll down to video filters, 
scroll down to IDESH row revolution and select multi-space and apply it to your nested sequence there you go all right so we have the multi-space plugin applied so the next thing we need to do is we need to change a few parameters let's change the opacity B from 1 to 0 let's change the rotation origin X from 0 to negative 0.69 and we're going to animate a few parameters here. Let's animate the angle Y parameter first. So if we move our play where the last keyframe of the black plastic is on my timeline. And we're going to set a keyframe for the angle Y here. So set a keyframe there. Type in plus 20 to move the play at 20 frames. And set a keyframe there. Hit option K to go back to the first keyframe. And we're going to change the value from 0 to negative 90. And there you go. The next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that our CD cover is following the case as it moves into place. So let's go to our timeline and move our playhead to the first frame of the black plastic animation. And as you guys have seen me do before, to see the filter and the motion bar, just hit Command-0, go to Timeline Options, and enable Clip Keyframes, and enable Filters and Motion Bar, and then hit OK. So let's have some keyframes here for the position Y, so set a keyframe at the first keyframe, type in plus 2 to move the playhead 2 frames. Set another keyframe, type in plus 8 to move the playhead another few frames. Set a keyframe there. Type in plus 3 to move the playhead to where the first keyframe of angle Y is and set another keyframe. Let's go back to the first keyframe on the, on the position Y. So change the Y position from 0 to negative 3. Hit it shift K to go to the next keyframe, change the value from 0 to negative 1.3, hit shift K to go to the next keyframe, change the value from 0 to negative 0.42, and then leave the last keyframe at 0. We have all our elements in place, but we need a way to animate it all at the end. So if you go to your effects browser, go to video transitions, select 3D simulation, select cross zoom and double click it to bring it to the transition editor. Change the duration from 1 second to 15 frames. Change the blur from 10 to 15. And drag it onto the out point of each clip. Alright, so at the very end, after the, after the CD case has gotten into place and the footage has turned into a CD, it all zooms at you at the very end. So let's render this by hitting the keyboard shortcut Option R. Alright, so everything's rendered. So let's move the playhead to the beginning of the footage. And press the spacebar or L key to play forward. And this is what we have. This effect can be used for a variety of situations, so feel free to experiment it and see what you get. I'll be doing more tutorials like this where you can put your footage in certain objects to give your project some creative flair, so stay tuned. Until then, stay creative.